This standard is the Florida State Standard for grade first. It's in science. Um, the standard is to identify the leaf, flower, stem of a plant. Students will receive a picture of a flower. They will color the picture in order to identify the stem, leaf, and the flower. Students will be required to label the stem, flower, and leaf of the plant. So this would be the printed picture that the students would receive. They'd have to color it in completely. By coloring in the flower petals, they would be able to identify easier before they label. This is just the example that they would be receiving. At the top are the directions. And at the right upper corner, we have the word box so that students are able to see the three um, words that they have to label onto the plant. After the students color in the plant, then they would start labeling. This is just so that they can get familiar with it beforehand. So this would be the flower part of the plant. And then the students would label the stem. And they would also be required to label the leaves. In this case, it would be a leaf. Let me come in this part here. Students would then recite it out loud with the teacher. That way they can go getting familiar. The students can make the flower as colorful as they want. As long as they understand the concept and the labeling is correct. With this activity, students would be learning also how to color in the lines. Um, they would be learning about the flower. Um, since it's first grade, um, you don't want to give them an activity that would be too complicated. So coloring in the plant would give them an incentive to want to label it after. Because if you just give them a piece of paper with the words and require them to recite them, then the students might not be focused. So this would be a fun activity for the students during the day so that they could start getting familiar with everything that has to do with the plant. Um, everything's labeled for them and then this would be an example for them to follow like a guideline. And then for the acknowledgements, we use cpalms.org which has all the Florida state standards and scholastic.com which gives ideas for lesson plans that um, teachers can use and that um, it gives handouts and that's where I got the flower from.